An elevator has a placard stating that the maximum capacity is 1,650 pounds uh, or 10 passengers. So 10 adult male passengers can have a mean weight uh, up to 165 pounds. Okay, that's the maximum capacity of the elevator. If the elevator is loaded with 10 adult male passengers, that's going to be our n in this problem. So that's our sample size. Find the probability, so it's a probability, so I'll go ahead and write p and a parentheses, that it is overloaded because they have a mean weight, so that's x bar, greater than 165. So you just read it very carefully, right? So let me read that sentence again. So if the elevator is loaded with 10 adult male passengers, that's your 10, find the probability that it is overloaded, that's a probability, because they have a mean weight, that's x bar, greater than 165. Then it says, assume the weights of males are normally distributed with a mean of 167. That's going to be our mu. That's our population mean. And a standard deviation of 25. That's, that's our sigma. And it says, does this eleva elevator appear to be safe? OK, so we're being asked a question about an average. So before we go to stack crunch, we first have to compute the standard deviation of x bar, our new standard deviation, which is sigma over the square root of n. So sigma in this problem is uh, right there, 25, n is 10. So I'm going to put this in the calculator, and that's going to be the standard deviation that we use for stack crunch. So it's 25 divided by the square root of 10. All right, so there it is, 7. Ooh. So how many decimals do you use? Uh, I'm going to use a whole bunch, 7.9. 0, 5, 6, 9. I'll use that many decimals. Um, how many are you supposed to use? I don't know. <laughs> um, there's been cases where I've done problems like this, and I've used two or three decimals, and I've actually gotten it wrong. Uh, so I've been burned before, so I'm going to use lots of decimals. When in doubt, uh, use lots of digits. So stack crunch. So it's always better to use more. All right. The homework is usually pretty good about accepting a variety of answers, but every once in a while, a uh, problem will creep up where you want to use more than you know two decimals. Stat, calculators, and then normal. Okay, let me slide it over here. There it is. Stat, calc, normal. All right. The mean here was there. It is 167. That's our mean. The standard deviation, it's this new one here. That's the whole point, 7.90569. So we're asked a question about a mean, right? The sample size is bigger than 1, so that means we're usually going to have an x bar. And that means that we have to do this process here. If it was just like one passenger, then none of this would be going on. We would just use the 25. Uh, greater than or equal to 165. Click Compute. There it is. I think it wants four decimals, so 0. 0.5999 should be the answer. So 0. 0.599, and then 9. That 5 rounds up that 8, right, to, to a 9. Let's try it. 0. 0.599, whoops. 0. 0.5999. Moment of truth. Yes. All right, nice work. Does this elevator appear to be safe? I'm going to say, even before reading the choices, no way, right? Because um, there's almost a 60% chance that the elevator is going to overload. So very dangerous. So I would say, no, there is a good chance that 10 randomly selected people will exceed the elevator capacity. Yeah, that's dangerous. That's it.